Well, Sean, we're on the eve of the Northern Rail Cup and National League seasons. Are you ready for it? Yeah, we've prepared very well. I think if you go back to the, the disappointment of relegation last year, everybody overcame that fairly quickly. We had to go through a, a mourning period and I always said that we'd recruit and get our, our squad in order very quickly. And I was able to do that within the space of a couple of weeks. Uh, a few players that required post-season surgery generally recovered well from that and uh, our pre-season has gone according to plan and uh, uh, the guys have worked very, very hard. It's your first pre-season at Salford. Have you done anything different than what you did at perhaps South Sydney Saints or even Hull? Well, probably not so much different in terms of uh, what the weather and the facilities allow you to do because you need to be very flexible with your pre-season. Uh, clearly some outdoor um, grounds get too heavy, too wet. Um, you do too much damage to them. So you've got to be prepared to be to, to change your timetable, to be flexible. Uh, for me, um, the change for me was going to Jacksonville. Jacksonville was my first trip, but it wasn't the clubs. The club has now been there for, for the last five years. Uh, it's a wonderful place to go in terms of training facilities, pretty much guaranteed weather. Um, I believe that you cram so much into a, a small space of time. I think we were there for 12 days. I think we had 10 training sessions, and it was the, probably the equivalent of doing a month, really. Um, you could just get that much done because the guys... Uh, were able to get on firm, a firm surface. Um, they were able to focus on their training, not have any worries in terms of out, outside that. And uh, it was a very, very good trip. And I think that will, you know, to me, that was like the, the icing on the cake in terms of our pre-season. We've come back, we've played very well against Warrington in our, in our one and only pre-season friendly. And um, we're ready to play. I mean, only one injury, Robbie Paul, which is extremely disappointing for Robbie. But, uh, you know, he will have the surgery and overcome it and, rehab to the point where um, he'll be right to play in uh, hopefully in a couple of months time. You know, we've got absolutely no doubt that he'll recover fully. We've got no doubt whatsoever that, uh, that his long-standing professionalism in the game will, will see him come back um, in a, probably in a shorter space than, than, than perhaps the guideline has indicated and we would anticipate that Robbie will be right to start the league season. Are you happy with the new players that you brought in? A lot of new faces here at Salford this year. Are you happy the way they've gone in pre-season? Yeah, look, it's been really competitive in pre-season. I've been extremely happy with the dedication the players have shown. I, we, we also have a new strength and conditioning coach in, the, in Andy Haig, who was actually a player that I coached a few years ago at, at St Helens, and Andy's done a terrific job, as, a, as have all the staff. And uh, our pre-season has gone very, very well, and there's a lot of pressure on. There's a lot of pressure on positions uh, to make the team. There's also a lot of pressure on players, particularly the players that have only signed one-year deals. So they need to come out and perform at this level, and... And, and give me an indication at coach as, as, to, as, as to whether they can handle the next level or not. Of course, our, a lot of my recruitment has been about taking the next step back again into the Super League. And you know, we're, uh, we're anticipating that we will go back to Super League for 2009. Clearly, that's out of, out of our hands at the moment, but subject to a, an application process. And um, so, so there's pressure on everybody, really, because... Uh, if you're on a one-year deal, it can go one or two ways. You can either handle it, or you can, or you can sort of fall at the, you know, at, the, at any hurdle, and um, then we don't really offer contracts for the following year. So it's plenty of pressure on everybody. But they've gelled together very well. We've done a lot of different things in terms of planning and, and uh, scheduling out the way that we play, and changed our playbook, and, and done a lot of different things. So basically, the, all the players, whether they've been here before or not, have had to learn a new language in terms of the playbook. And, uh, but they have gelled very, very well. And uh, um, I think the Warrington game indicated that, you know, that we have made huge strides in, in, a, in, a, in the last three months and uh, something that uh, we need to continue to improve on. You say you're looking towards a future in Super League. It's your first season in National League One as a coach. Uh, are you ready for the coming season? Are you all clued upon the teams that you're going to play and even those teams you're going to face outside of National League One in the Northern Rail Cup? Well, I haven't really approached us any. I haven't approached us any different to if we to if we were in Super League. But I think you've hit the nail on the head. The only difference is that I could probably tell you everything about a Super League player, everything he does, uh, weaknesses, strengths. The difficulty with the Northern Rail Cup and the and the league that we play in is that there will be a sprinkling of players that I know. There'll be other players that 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 um, that with the utmost respect, I, I I haven't seen enough of them play. Some guys I won't even know who they are. But I'll have to rely a lot on my staff. I rely a lot on players who have played against them in, in previous years. And, of course, there will be some uh, exposure in terms of games being on you know, TV. Uh, obviously, you can, you can access 
uh, DVDs of games. So over a period of time, I guess we'll get to learn a lot more about who we're playing against. But, you know, it, it brings that into perspective about how much time you spend on your opposition by comparison to what you what you worry about yourself, your own game. And, you know, there's still a thought process in our game that, that perhaps sometimes you can overanalyse the opposition and, and not, not worry too much about yourself. And I think that um, this year we'll probably be doing a lot more of worrying about how we're going to play and, and how teams are going to try and stop us. Uh, certainly we won't underestimate anybody that we play and certainly we won't underprepare against anybody. So, uh, you know, we've effectively treated this as a Super League club. Um, that, I don't mean... I'm not saying that with any arrogance or ignorance. I'm just simply saying that we are full-time. The staffing is, is exactly the same as we'd have in a Super League organisation. And um, we are using this as a stepping stone to go straight back into Super League. As long as we've got attitude and effort, and uh, as long as we prepare well, then we would expect to win our majority of games. If people want, if people want me to say we will win the Northern Rail Cup and we will win the Nas- uh, National League One, I-, I can't say that. What I will say is we'll put ourselves in positions to win those games. Um, by being consistent throughout the season. Um, you know, it's, it'll be everybody's cup final when they play against Salford City Reds because everybody's going to want to take on the team that's full-time. Everybody's going to want to take on the team that got relegated from last year. And if we are favourites to win those competitions, everybody will prepare well to play us. So, you know, we're going to be, up, we're going to be in a scrap fight most of the time and we know the challenges that, that are there. All I can say is that as, as long as we prepare very well and we respect every opposition that we play against, That'll put us in good stead to play well.